So I believe we're back. Hopefully. Very weird stuff. But everything seems to be working just fine now. So hi, how is everyone once again? I see that they've added a new... No. Did they add a new person? We've beat the game with this. We haven't beat him with him. We haven't beat him with him. Oh, we have beat him with him, but we haven't beat him with her. We haven't even played with her. Okay. Got it. Hopefully now everything is good. Everything is working. Sorry that there was the weirdness that went on there. But, we're gonna try and play it again. We're going to try and beat it with this dude. Or, we'll try and beat it with a new girl. Start each uh, combat, add a miracle to your hand. Sure. I really don't remember a whole lot about this, I'll be honest. <laughs> I do remember our big whale friend. Obtain a random rare well oh seven max? That's a lot. Let's take a common relic. What does it do? Elite enemies in combat have 25% less HP. I mean, that's wonderful. Alright. Now we have to figure out our path. You know what I mean? Let's see. First, let's hold on. I feel like the music was really low there. And this game does have pretty daggone good music. Alright. So. We've got two mysteries here. Followed up there. That, that, that. Treasure. Yeah. I think we're gonna take this long outside path. It has the most mystery rooms as well as the most treasure chest and the most rests. Little buggy boys. All right. Gain an extra energy. Strike, deal six damage. Upon exiting the stance, gain two extra energy. Bah, so we can get rid of him. Wow, we can't get rid of him. Uh, so we'll throw that one up so at least we can block. So he's gonna hit. It should do nothing. Perfect. I'm kind of liking this girl. We just start- ooh. Wow, just a lot of block, huh? You deal and receive double damage. I mean, so we can stop that. There's no point in using it. We'll just... We don't want to, like, it will just rather... Words, jeez. Throw away the cards there. That guy's gonna be an issue. Deal nine damage. And this should deal 12, which will break his guard. And this guy doesn't matter, because he's not going to hit us this turn. Oh, our little staff looks angry. Alright, this guy's gone. Get out of here. Next battle. We'll take that. We'll take a bottled miracle. We'll add... Retain, deal four damage twice. Ooh, but retain is wonderful. Retain, deal 20 damage, exhaust. Yeah, that's what we're gonna take. So how's everyone doing on this Friday? Ooh, a donut. As you make your way down a long corridor, you see a banana, a donut, and a box floating about. No, upon closer inspection, they are tied to a string coming from holes in the ceiling. It's 
There's a quiet cackling from above as you approach the objects. What do you do? I mean, max HP. You eat the donut, it really hit the spot. Your max HP increases. You spot a loose brick within a pillar that catches your eye. You find a note and a card inside. It reads, The heart awaits. This is your handwriting. Receive a strike and store a card. Huh. We can put away one of our own cards. Let's, uh... Let's throw one of our blocks in there. Dum, 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 dum. Oh, the little cultist dude. I love the cultist. Deal 10 damage and shuffle one into your draw pile. Hit him for that. Gain an extra energy. Hit him for 20 more. Shuffle. Forgot what this does at the end of each of his turn. Right, he gains extra stuff. I mean, that's okay. We should ruin him right there. Just get the fuck out of my dungeon, you bird brain. Deal eight damage as the last card was apply one weak. Your deck in hand and retain it. Enter calm. End your turn. Deal seven damage, scry two, draw a card. Uh, let's go with this one. Little chomper boy. Dang, chopper boy, you're about to hit for a lot. All right, at least I'll only take one actual damage. So he's gonna hit. What does Calm do? Oh, when I exit it, I get two. That'll fully protect me, and then we'll whap the jaw worm again. Deal seven damage, scry two, draw one. Um, all about defense right now. I will keep taking one damage from this dude. Okay, now is the time that I can do a thing here. There we go. That's what we were waiting for. The big old wombo combo energy. Retain and gain 12 block. Yes. Don't need to rest, so instead we'll smith. Uh, I'm really liking this eruption. And it makes it cheaper? Done. Done. We will make that card cheaper. A fight and then a rest, or... Well, let's do the fight. More little roly poly -olies. I don't know if you guys know this, but they all... They are small and short and round. Uh, and then we'll save that. So chat, how's it going? How's, your, how's everyone been doing? Dev, how have you been doing? Uh, David, if you're still there, how you doing? Paul, doing good? Oh, we can hurt a lot. Get 
get him out of there. It's not gonna quite get him out of there, but now it will. Now we're just left with this one dude. That's fine. Buff yourself all you want. I'm just gonna... You're not gonna hit me for 20. I will simply get rid of you. And what card can we add to our deck? Scry 1, 2 block, 3 damage, retain, deal 4... Yes. And then we go back here. Don't need to rest. Still only down two, so we can smith once again. What if we smith our vigilance so we gain 12 block and enter calm? It doesn't make it cheaper, but that deals extra damage. That lets us scry three. 16 block, that's really good. Yeah, we'll do that for 16 block. An anchor, start each combat with 10 block. Block, I mean, absolutely, the anchor is wonderful. Oh, it's a little slaver. Well, he's gotta go. You gonna try and debuff me there, buddy? I'll do that, and I'll just whap you. Why did I do that? I'm a dummy. I forgot I start with 10 block. I could have just whapped him. Whap him one good time. Gain all the block I need. Continue. What's poppin' there, King? How's it going? I don't know anything about this game beyond the fact that it exists. So, it's a... I, I actually think, Mary, you specifically will really like it. It's a... It's a deck-building game. Um, it just, you know, basically adds animations to it, but it is a deck-building game where you go through dungeons. So we've got things like... Uh, let's see if we can do this. So... This card, deal 9 damage, enter uh, Wrath. You deal and receive double damage from this. So we'll smack him there. Now we deal and receive double damage. Retain, deal 8 damage twice. Still have 3 energy, deal 12 damage, deal 12 damage. Now that we've beat him, we get gold. I don't know, seems kind of fake to me. But so I basically, after every fight then, now I get to pick another card to add to my deck. Um, there's four different characters. Each of them have different decks and different play styles. There's relics that add different things. You'd, you'd enjoy it. So, conclude, deal 12 damage to all enemies and end your turn. Deal 8 damage if the last card played was a skill at 1 vulnerability. Gain 3 block if you're in Wraith. Gain an additional 9 block. But for zero? Absolutely. Um, you have to choose, like, which path you're going to take to get up to the boss at the end. I already just want to play DC Deck. <laughs> you have to choose which path you're going to take, and these are all your different, what all the different symbols mean. You fall into a puddle. It's made of slime goop. Frantically, you claw yourself out over several minutes as you feel the goop starting to burn. You can feel goop in your ears, goop in your nose, goop everywhere. Climbing out, you notice that some of your gold is missing. Looking back, you see a puddle uh, of your missing coins combined with gold from unfortunate adventurers mixed together in the puddle. Ooh, gain 75 gold but lose a le... We can... We'll just sleep. See, right here. We'll just sleep when we get to the camp. We'll fight this normal little guy, then we'll sleep when we get to the camp. <clears throat> also, as Salsa said, I think I said it earlier too, but earlier in the other stream, 
If you want to be a part of the giveaway, you just have to type deck. Deck into chat and you're eligible for our giveaway today. Uh, so this guy going to hit me for six. This guy is going to buff himself. So... No. <laughs> I mean, technically, but no. Dick Doc Duck. It's a Dick Doc Duck. Those are my favorite Dick Doc Ducks. Damn it, I forgot I had the anchor again and I didn't need to defend myself that time. So he's going to deal nine. So I do actually need to protect myself a little bit. Uh, let's throw that into my hand. And then end our turn. Oh, I thought it said retain. Hold on. I made a dumb choice, guys. I've been doing dumb stuff this whole game. Hickory Dickory Dock. <sighs> Alright, this might be dumb, but we're gonna do it. He's gonna deal two damage back. Just this whole game? What do you mean? This whole game might be dumb? No, this whole game is very good. This whole game is not dumb. I've just been doing dumb things this whole game. Because I keep forget 36 da- That's okay, we kill him with this one hit. <laughs> oh, I was a little worried. 36 damage was a lot. Uh, add safety to your hand. Doing stuff is not limited to this whole game. Oh, it is. Anytime you want to play DC Deck Builder with people. I mean, we're people. We're not people. How dare you say we're people? We're better than people. We're reindeer. See, and now we rested, we healed ourselves up. We do, we should probably drink one of our potions. Two miracles, one of three random skills, and 12 block. You take 10 damage. And then also take six more damage. And that's the end of my turn. But we have 10 blocks starting from our nice little anchor. Boom. Yeah, you didn't even make it through my initial block. You little louse. You little... Little hair molecules. Thinking they can come in here and mess me up. Well, what if I just smack you? What if you get smacked? You ever thought about that? You're gonna spit a web on me? All right. So they're a loused cause. I thought you were going to say they're a lousty creature. That's really what I thought you were going to say, is they're a lousty creature. And then we'll just... We'll just get rid of that guy. Just burn him. All right. Deal five damage to all enemies. Deal nine damage and exit your stance. Deal 8 damage if the last card played was... Ooh, let's go to Consecrate. Our health is full, so we can Smith. Deal 6 damage twice. Deal 8 damage to all enemies. That's a pretty good one. Let's go for deal 15 damage and add one. It doesn't make it cheaper, though. I mean, this is free 8 damage to all enemies. That's what we're going to upgrade. All right, time to go fight the big boss.
10 damage and shuffle a thing. That's a retain, so we can wait for that. That's a retain, so we can wait for that. So these three are all retain cards. Those are wonderful. Meaning I can also just play... Well, I don't want to play that, but... Throw that in there. Throw that in there, and then we save all the rest of that. The Hexaghost. Here's where he, the Hexaghost, starts to hurt. Alright. 16 block. We need it. Gain more. Eight more block. Three more block. He He's still gonna hit us, because he's gonna attack us seven times for six damage, but... It does look like a Pokemon Spiritomb. And it hurts. Alright, he's just gonna hit for six. Oh, we could do so much damage. Oh, I'm gonna be dumb here. What is this, 12 block? Perfect, drink it. 20 more damage to you. Throw that into my deck. Deal 40 damage. Exhaust. Deal 8 damage twice. Deal 14 damage... Deal 8 damage twice. And then draw a card. But we don't have the inner... It doesn't matter. I'm not gonna draw a card. Because, I mean... Can't use it. But we did like 120 damage in one turn. So I'll take it. Ooh. Ooh, and we're still in wrath mode. Hit him for that. 18 damage into wrath. We're already in wrath. 16 damage to all ener enemies. I don't think we kill him here, but we hurt him a lot. But he is about to hurt just as much. It'll maybe do something. What does Mantra do? Obtain 10 Mantra, enter Divinity. Gain 3 Mantra, shuffle Insight into your... Mantra doesn't help us at all. We can't even actually use any of these. We'll use Third Eye. We'll at least block some of this damage. Wow. Really, game? All defense cards is what you give me this turn? Literally 100% defense cards. I'm hoping next turn we'll just be able to beat him. Yeah, you burned me. You told me, I don't know, my mom is fat. I don't have enough? Damn it. All right. I should have played the cut one. Now he's gonna buff himself. Oh, but he only I only have to deal 15 damage to him. All right, perfect. It's done and over with. Cut. Get him out of here. 100 gold, swift potion. Judgment, if an enemy has 30 or less HP, set their HP to zero. Oh, but this is also a really good one. Oh. Deal 10 damage. If fatal, upgrade a random card in your deck. But 30 or less, and they just die. I think we're going to take this one, because we can buff that one through our Wrath stance. Oh, that one's hard. You gain an extra energy at the start of your turn, but you no longer can see the enemy intent. I can't take that one. But you no longer rest at rest sites. You no longer obtain... We'll take that one. I don't super care about potions. 
Okay. So, I'm thinking just initially here, because we get the merchant. And then maybe these two, because we get him. Here, because we get that one. So the relics are the things up here, they are just passive bonuses. So like, passive bonuses I get at the start of your hand at a miracle. Elite enemies have 25% less HP. Start of each thing, start with 10 block, and gain an energy at the start of your turn. So they're just a passive thing that I get at the beginning of every whatever triggers it. But I get all of my relic bonuses. So relics are a just beautiful thing to have. I'm thinking I'm going to take this outside path again, because it has several merchants, several bonfires, and also these, which give chances to have good things in them. I'm just about to go to a merchant. Do not steal from me. He's going to try and steal 15 gold from me, and I really don't appreciate it. Alright, so I'm going to block one of their attacks fully. Let's mostly block both attacks. He's still going to take the gold, and I hate that. That even if you block the damage they take- come on, game. Even if you block the damage, you still have the gold taken from you. So now they're about to take 15 more gold. And now they're going to defend, which means they're going to soon leave. Here's what we're going to do. We're just going to hurt them a whole lot. Uh, oh, and we can still do so much. Can we play all... We can play all these. Perfect. Give me my gold back. 60 gold stolen back, 11 extra gold, and we get to add a card. Was an attack, gain an energy. This is exactly what we want. When retained, increase its... Wow! This could be great, though. Every turn you hold on to it, the block increases by two. That could be really... We're taking that one. Hi, little merchant guy. What do you have for me? You have new cards. You also have some new relics. Let's see, deal 7 damage for every enemy in combat, 8 damage if it was a skill I don't care about, crushing joints. Deus Ex Machina, unplayable. When you draw this card, add 2 miracles to your hand and exhaust. Retain, intercom, exhaust. Eh. At the end of your turn, shuffle insight into your draw pile. What does insight do? Retain, draw 2 cards, exhaust. I don't really care about that, I'll be honest with you. If I get something, it's going to be this bowling bash. But what does this do? The first time you lose HP each combat, draw three cards. Upon pickup, upgrade two random attacks. Whenever you play a power attack and skill in the same turn, remove all your debuffs. And eh, that one's not so likely. But we'll take this one. It's just two cards free upgraded. Great. We'll also take this one. And then we'll also take this, and we can't afford to remove anything from our deck. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's all we want. I think that's all we can get. Gain one artifact. Perfect. Bye, Mr. Shopman. 
You seem nice. So, they're gonna do five damage total. So I can block, or five damage each. We can fully block that, no problem. But we'll start whittling away the one with the lowest health. Keyword today, Smiley, is deck. D E C K. And, uh. What's her name? Um. That's fine. I'll block all of that. There you go. Salsa will also make sure to tell you. Ooh, holy cow. Alright, they're gonna hurt a lot. Deal 7 damage for each enemy, 8 damage to all enemies. I mean, I'm gonna have to protect. Um, 8 damage to all of them. 7 damage for every enemy, for each enemy, so that's gonna be 21 damage. Oh, perfect. He got stunned. I didn't realize it hit three times. That actually works out really well, because I will have exactly enough to block all this again. We're going to hold on to that card. All right. What do we got? Lesson learned. 10 damage if fatal. Perfect. Upgrade that card. Uh, seven damage and scry. Oh, I should have done something else, but let's use that. That's at least some block. This six, seven, but I have to draw a card. I don't want to draw a card right now. All right, that's what I got. Hey, hey, I get to draw three extra cards. It's a lot of cards that I get. Well, if we're going to do this, let's do that. Let's do that. I mean, we're just in a crazy strong thing right here. And then, you know, why not? Let's just ruin this dude with 40 damage when he only has like 20 health. Retain, enter wrath, exhaust. Scry, gain two block, deal three damage. Oh, I mean, for zero? Wonderful. Next group of people. Oh, you... I hate this dude, the Shelled Parasite. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. So we can do... 9. 39. Forty something damage, but we'll take twenty four. It's not exactly what we want, but I think we're going to do it. This will kill him. That'll upgrade a card in our deck. We'll take it. Um, thirty six. Jeez. Oh, it's because we're vulnerable. Jeez. All right. This is not fantastic. This is going to hurt a whole lot here. We're going to have to rest for sure. Twenty damage, add a thing. Eight damage twice, retain. 
16 to all. Just going to do the most 20 instead of 16 mixed with now. These are going to do more. And then I can still play that and add 16 block. Or do I just really protect? 16 block, followed by five more block. That's the best we got. He's gonna hurt though. It's cause of that weakness debuff that we had on us. Can I not get rid of him? 14 and 4... Okay, we can. No? That can do 28. That can do 40. Of which he has 43 because of the 10 block. Dang. Yes, this. Okay. What? No, no, no. I wanted to draw that card. Alright, game. That's okay, we still get rid of him. Apparently you click the one you don't want to take, which seems dumb. Consecrate, once again. We'll take another small battle and then a rest. Oh, this dude, the Sneko. All right, little Sneko. Just hit you with all of the things. Drop you down half your health. He is going to just mix up the costs of everything in my deck now, though. Which is annoying. 12. 24. 40. But that's not going to... All right, at least I'll fully block his attack. That's what I got going for me. Hit him with that. Hit him with that. Then hit him with the little old strike. That weakness was gonna get real bad. Upgrade all cards in your hand for the rest of- Damn, I don't get that one. Oh well. End turn. Mm. Here so we can rest. Resting just regains 30% of our health. It's not a lot, but it's more than none. Oh, you two... Yeah, how you like getting hit with one of those? Got to get rid of this little guy out here in the back. He'll he'll mess you up. I don't really have anything else to do, so we'll just hold on to these cards. We'll block all his damage. He's going to buff him. Fourteen. Well, before we do that, oh, if you click, wow, we just did the same thing. We're dummies. Got to block the damage. 
Hit him there. Throw that back out of there. Do this. Do that and end my turn. That's fine. Four more damage and he's out. <sighs> but healed him up, huh? And we didn't even get any of our really good ones. He's gonna buff him again. I don't need any of these blocks. Because neither of them are gonna actually hit. He's just gonna shield him for 15! It, great, and now you give me none of my blocking. Cool. Choose a number of cards to discard. That's not even gonna cut, cut it anywhere close enough, but it's what we could do. I am gonna get to draw a card. Three cards. Now I have Frail. Well, if we can get rid of... Alright. We can get rid of this guy. I'm confident. Yeah. Alright. Unfortunately, though, all the stuff that we just healed up didn't matter at all. Deal five damage to a random enemy five times. We're gonna take Halt. Because we're building our deck around entering Wrath mode. Treasure chest. What's in the chest? It's a meal ticket. Whenever you enter a shop, heal 15 HP. Ah, wow, that's actually really great. Because there's a shop right there. We'll heal up again. Now we're full healed. We're making good progress, guys. While sneaking past a group of shrouded figures, one of them approaches you. Got anything for me, friend? Please, maybe some coin. I just need somewhere to stay. I have treasures I can trade. He seems delusional, but harmless. Why not? We'll give him some gold. What did it do? Upon picking up... Upgrade two random skills. Sure. Oh, yes, yes. Here, here, fair trade. Dun, 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 dun. Is the treasure going to be his middle finger? <laughs> no, he gave me a real treasure. Sometimes it could turn out real bad. Such a good man. Look, we got to help our friendos. In an abandoned temple, you find a giant book open, riddled with cryptic writing. As you try to interpret the elaborate script, it begins to shift and morph into writing you're familiar with. We're going to go crazy reading this, but... Odd, the ancient book uh, seems to be about an ancient named Niao. This piques your interest, but you have a general feeling of... Mali Malice? Malice. General feeling of malice. Come on now. Oh, I can't stop reading it. Oh, I can't stop reading it. The Ancient of Resurrection now was exiled to the bottom of the spire. You feel compelled to read more, but your body begins to ache. Seeking vengeance, Niao blesses outsiders, using them for her own purpose. You are beginning to feel very weak and tired. Those resurrected by Niao, remembers only fragments of their past selves, cursed to fight for eternity. As you near the final pages, your old wounds begin to reopen! We're gonna take the book. You gotta stop this right now. Nope, I'm keeping it. At the end of your turn, you may shuffle one to three random cards into your draw pile. Meaning the tome, you decide to take it with you. With proof in hand, will you retain your memories?
All right, Mr. Carnivory Plant. What do you do upon receiving an attack? Damage, gain three block. <sighs> well, we're just gonna hit you real hard because that's what we do best. Stop gaining more block. Ooh, that's right. Let's see. We're gonna add follow-up. Oh, we've weakened and frail. Holy cow, that's a ton of damage. This deals 15. Perfect, this will be fatal to him. And it upgrades a card permanently. Dude, that card is just a a permanent upgrade our card. Retain Enter Wrath Exhaust for zero. Deal four damage whenever you scry, return this card from your pile. Hmm. Draw cards, exit your stance. Crescendo. Hi there, merchant. Thanks for the free heal from our meal ticket of just a... Uh, just a... Uh, face. What you got for me? Anything good? You've got Just Lucky. Just Lucky's good. Just Lucky's about the only thing we can get from you, though. Can that be an emote? What, me just... Just sitting here going... Uh, I feel like we're getting oddly close to the, uh, the Ahio face with that. That can also... God, that's awful. Look, I agree, Eddie. I'm not saying it's good. 16 damage for free, done. When will that become an emote? That will become an emote when I receive a donation of a thousand bits. Then we'll make it an emote permanently. I'll make it a tier one emote if we get a donation of a thousand bits. Hell, if we get a donation of a thousand bits, I'll make it two emotes. I'll find an artist to draw that face and then I'll also let Mary create one, but it's gonna take a thousand bits because I believe that's a hundred dollars. And I have to set it at something stupidly ridiculous. Is it like 10 bucks? Never mind. I mean 10,000 bits. It's 10,000 bits. My new necklace just came in. Give me five minutes and I'll be back. 10, 10,000 bits. 10,000 bits. <laughs> Thank you, Eddie. I appreciate it so much. 10,000 bits. I was in the process of buying the fucking bit. Hopefully you didn't actually buy them. I'd feel a little bad if you had completed the purchase. I was like, damn, I got paid today. I can drop 12 bucks on this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> didn't want to have to end our friendship. Look, I appreciate it, Eddie. Sands of Time. Retained. Deal 20 damage. Retained. Lower its cost by 1. Retained. Deal 7 damage. Increase its damage this combat by 4. Dude, these retained things are super cool. We're gonna take this one. Well, I have half of them now. Wait, you have 5,000 bits? Nope, I don't want to discard that. 500. There's a pack of 500. Then, ah. I actually feel a little bit bad about that. I'm very sorry. That's why I, I even thought I was like, oh, I gotta make sure that we say that it's... Uh... This much extra. That's my bad. I'm very sorry about that. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
I feel bad. Ow. Holy cow, that is my entire life in damage. It's five dollars, don't. It's, uh, it's... All right, let's get little guy out of there. That way it's not my entire life in damage. still have four energy, so that's one, two, three. Let's actually go here. Uh, we'll keep both of those. 32 damage, but ends my turn. Gotta stop him from doing his thing. No, no, guilt him. It was your entire life savings, right? <laughs> oh, I gotta be careful. Apparently pressing the numbers goes to use your card. So if I try to swap scenes, I might accidentally use a, a card. 32 damage to all enemies. But it's gonna go, why didn't I use that? I'm a dummy. I'm a dummy. I was absolutely going to give him shit for it. But once I said I felt bad, I couldn't. I did feel a little bad, like, oh, it was my fault. I tried to say a hundred dollars. That's, I had to make it something ridiculous. Starting your next turn, enter Wrath and draw two cards. If you're calm, draw three cards. Otherwise, enter calm. Deal four damage if you scry, we'll do this one. Your mom's too soft. Wow. That whole... Oh, that hurts so bad. We're already in wrath. What? Everything here is gain... Every card I drew this turn was, hey, gain a uh, block. I don't want to gain block right now. I want to do damage. Well, I feel like this was a wasted turn, but... Can only be played if this is the only attack in your hand. Deal 30 damage. Well, that's never getting used. We'll take a whip. He's gonna summon little people. Oh no. Ow! What is that? Oh great, just every debuff he could give me. Hit him for 12. Hit him for 30. Hit him for that. That's gonna become free next turn. These are defends, defends, and a halt. Those three are gonna go away. I'll end up keeping that, keeping that, keeping that, and keeping that. Um, let's add the start of your turn, gain this, and increase this gain by one. Okay, if this card is in your ha hand at the end of the turn, it is exhausted. Oh, so you have to basically do it. He's gonna summon his little boyos. Any 24 to all enemies, that's pretty good. Deal 30 damage. So this is a free 30 damage, so I can hurt someone. Okay. This could take some planning because they're probably gonna kill me here. 
So, we can do 30. Fifty two, sixty five, ninety. We can get real close, and that'll kill. Should kill those. No, only one of them's gonna get hit by that. We're gonna have to save some for a protect. Otherwise, we're gonna die. Let's start by this. What? <gasps> that injured turret we lost. Because I'm a dummy, we lost. Because I am a motherfucking dummy, we lost. I forgot that 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 card ends your turn. All right, let's try it again. We haven't beaten it with him. Let's try it with this guy, Mr. Poison Bird Guy. It's not inconceivable. We're just bad at gaming. Upgrade a card, max health, gain gold. Give me more max health. All right, there's no point in going to the merchant now. So maybe like here, here, here. I mean, the game said it first. <laughs> Inconceivable. So here, here, here. Maybe then, like, a here, here, here. Then we do, like, a here, 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 here. Here, 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 here. Sure. Man, this is gonna be one twisty path, but it's the path we're taking. That was... Actually, pr thank you! I didn't think it was, but I appreciate that you thought it was. Get rid of that card. Inconceivable! Is that better? Is that that more? Deal two damage, apply one weakness. Get a weakness. Meh, close enough. It's as close as it's gonna get. How about that one? I never really didn't realize you could see his eye peeking out. You, <laughs> you know that's that's fair. Get rid of this block. Give him a little. Little slice, little. Pfft. See, now I'm just gonna. Now in my head, I'm just sitting here going, inconceivable! Over and over and over. Is that what you wanted for me to just sit here and think of inconceivable over and over? Don't spit webs at me, you little loust. I'm just gonna cut you up real good with my little throwing daggers. Everybody should be thinking about that. Oh look, I have no problem thinking about that movie. Shiv's deal an additional four damn- oh I forgot. That's what this dude's whole thing is, is shivs. Or it can be shivs. Let's go shiv heavy. We're just gonna shiv everyone. Chevry one. Before you lies an elaborate shrine to a forgotten spirit. I mean, yeah, we'll pray to upgrade a card. Shivs now deal six extra damage. The shrine energy flows into you, making you stronger. 
a little cultist here. I mean... I don't even think I have anything that gives me shivs yet. But when I do, oh, you better be scared. Those shivs are gonna hurt. Those shivs are gonna be motherfucking accurate. Who says suffering second? Thufferin- <clears throat> Thufferin Thuckatash! It's, a uh, Sylvester. Thufferin Thuckatash! Nope. Yeah, it's Sylvester. Little, little bird ritual there, huh? There's an additional th in his lisp. Doom, 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 doom. Thuck a thash. This little, th I forgot. Ghost light, ghost light. <laughs> I'm trying. This dude is. This dude starts off very weak. Like, he is not a strong start character, but he gets strong because those shivs, you just start like throwing them out like fucking throwing knives because they cost zero energy. All right, now he's dead. My powers were matched. Give me a shiv! Anything here? Discard your hand, then draw that many. Deal nine damage, draw a card, discard a card. Draw three cards, discard one card. You're right, it's TH, not PH. Th it's not a th suff. It's a suffer and suck attach. Let's go with a dagger throw. Ooh. We're gonna go for more combats, actually. Jeez, you're starting off with a, a lot of damage there, my friend. Bite. Ow. Slightly weak. Slash, slash. Yeah, that's all right. You you gain a small shield. I'll just gain all the shield. Yeah, can't even hurt me now. I don't care about your teeth. My cloak protects me. You know what? Get weak. And take that. And also... Take that. And then finally take that! Liquid bronze? Alright. Deal 8 damage next turn. Gain uh, an extra enemy. Add a random skill to your hand. It costs 0 this turn. Exhaust. Unplayable. If this card is in your uh, is discarded from your hand, draw two cards. We're gonna take a knee. Well, we're we're not gonna take a knee, but we're gonna take the knee card. You. Upon receiving attacks, gain one. All right, well, you little fat gremlin. That's right. Killed you, fatty. Thought he was cool. Fat gremlins aren't cool. Flying knee. Wham! I'll take no damage from this. What are you, a shield gremlin? Pfft, 
Get out of here, little shield gremlin. Watch this. Getting you out of here right now. Boom. Shield gremlin. Gone. You guys, not even gonna hurt. Watch this. Not even, pff, can't even touch me. We're invincible. Wham, now you're gonna take a flying knee. And then, well, that's not gonna. All right, they'll, they'll touch me a little, but not even really enough to matter. I'm gonna do nine, da four damage. Who even? Psh, that's nothing. I have infinite health. They just don't know it. Get out of here. Look at that. Dead. He got sliced. I'm gonna have so much extra armor. He can't even hit it. Look. Boom. Nothing. Didn't even break the armor. What did I tell you guys? Invincible. Yeah. The little throwing daggers at him. A flex potion. Oh. I'll show you guys. A flex potion. Yeah. Real scary, intimidating stuff. Four poison and two weak to all enemies. <laughs> Show the power of the flex potion. I saw this boat in half. <laughs> oh, it's true. Seven poison and two weak to all enemies. Now, twelve damage. Eleven damage. Perfect. Give him that flying knee. Oh, a little thief, huh? Got a little 5A mousy thief boy here. I guess just discard that, because it doesn't matter. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> No, he didn't do any damage, because we're invincible. Crippling Cloud. Yeah, that's right. Get weaker over there. Now you're poisoned. How you like that, that taste of poison? Now he's gonna steal my stuff again, huh? Crippling Cloud, otherwise known as Vegan Farts! <laughs> and just discard that, I don't care. Can't play it anyways. Stop stealing my gold! You know what? Get out of here. Another flying knee! We're just giving people the knee this game. Who we got here? A slaver? What's well, not gonna work here, buddy? We'll just get rid of that. I wanna give him a crippling cloud, but I'm gonna give him a flying knee. And then we'll fully defend ourselves. You get that little crux out of here. Look at that, it didn't even do shit. I'm gonna give you another fucking flying knee. I'm gonna give you a little, little, little stab. Yo! Yeah. Yo! Yeah. This guy's deck is very simple to begin with. Oh, he weakened me, huh? 
It's all right. We'll just give him two little shivs there. A little, well, one of those. That's it. Another flex potion. We're fucking, we're, well, you can't, we're double flexing over here. Gain two intangible at the end of your turn. Lose one. Bro, your opponents aren't wearing shoes. Take it easy on them. I won't take it easy on them. It's his fault for not wearing shoes. He's in the dungeon. He's slavering people. We get a strawberry. Upon pickup, raise your max HP by seven. I mean, that's true. I am not wearing shoes currently. He said, put your shoes on. All right, we're gonna rest so we get our... Ooh, we want our max HP. If he doesn't want to wear shoes, he can at least wear... Ooh, all right guys, hold on. We're gonna leave it up to you. So, we can go fight a normal enemy, or we can fight an elite enemy. Elite enemies give really good drops, but man, are they hard. What do you guys think, a normal or an elite? We did just get a strawberry, if that matters to anyone. I'm thinking... We go kick the ass of some shoeless elitist, right? Gotta go elite? Alright, let's go elite. Look at this bourgeoisie gremlin noob. He's literally a gremlin- look at his name, gremlin noob. I don't care how you think you want to pronounce it, it's a gremlin noob. Take his ass to Pompeilus. <laughs> Wow, no fucking shoes. I told you! Told you, he's not gonna have shoes. We just gonna slice him up. Okay. But he's a little mad. What if I give you a flying knee? And then we'll throw a one of these at you. We literally can't defend his <laughs> now. He's real mad. Um we're gonna discard this. <laughs> oh. Whenever you play a skill, he gains strength. You know what? Oh, wait, no, we're not gonna drink a flex potion. I was thinking about flexing on him. If we get a lot of attacks this turn, we might. Wow, we did not get a lot of attacks. Time for auto attack spam. We don't have auto attacks. We got one attack this hand. Our hand was not helpful in drawing good cards. But if I play any of these blocks, he's just gonna get mad. We're doing it. I don't care. See, there we go. Time to cover up. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> we just... <laughs> just outbeat his thing. So now he's going to hit, but we'll cover we'll block ourselves fully. Twenty one damage. Game, I feel like you're being a little unfair here. Flex potion. Slice. Slice. If I use this, he's just gonna get stronger. <sighs> but I really don't want to take... Well, he should hurt himself, that's fucked up. Dude, there's also, I've got a Thorns Potion. It's great, it literally, they take however much damage they deal. So like, if I were to drink this right now, he'd just fucking kill himself. Got that rope dope strat going straight. Fuck it, he's gonna hit me, but... Oh, look at how much health that took. Flying knee. Flying knee. Get out of here. A blood vial at the start of each combat. Heal 2 HP. Potion of weak, and we get to add... We could just add another flying knee. No, let's add a sucker punch. Dude, did he headbutt twice? I <laughs> could that's exactly what happened. He went for the headbutt and got a flying knee. Also there, 
uh, Maddie and anyone. Fly me to the moon. Let me play. Let me kick its fucking ass. Uh, if you guys want to win a free game, type the word deck into chat and you'll win a free game. Maybe. Not guaranteed. It's a chance. It's a roll. Also, absolutely, Casey, that was a wonderful uh, little, uh, little blurb you had there. I do what I can. You know, sometimes you get the the jokes right. Oh, I'm gonna he's gonna hit me. That's not nice. Alright, who's getting the flying knee? It's you little fat gremlin back here, you're getting a flying knee. I can just get rid of the little fat gremlin. But instead, I chose to block. No one protects Fat Gremlin. Oh, now I've got two weak. Fat Gremlin, Flying Knee. Everyone, get poisoned for a little bit. And then I'll block. Boom, boom, poison, poison, poison. Sneaky gremlin, huh? Whap! Oh, you're just gonna die at the start of your turn from the poison. That's unfortunate. You're gonna die at the start of your turn from the poison. Look at this, ready? Boom, dead from the poison, dead from the poison. Now we just got this one little mad gremlin. And you know what he's about to get? A flying knee. Oh, and that, you know what? We're not even gonna kill him. We're gonna let the poison kill him. Ready, watch this. Boom, I'm not gonna do anything. Dead. Explosive potion. All right, do we trade out a potion of weakness, a flex potion, or liquid bronze? We're going to trade out... We want the explosive one. Double the enemy's poison or exhaust. Deal three damage. Deal six damage and apply three poison. Ooh. Let's get a catalyst. Let's go over here to the merchant. What you got for me, merchant? At the start of your turn, add a shiv into your hand. Boom! Infinite blades. That's what we want. What does this do? Hand drill. Whenever you break an enemy's block, apply two vulnerability. Ooh, that could be really good. Sneko oil. Draw five cards. Nah, we're gonna get the hand drill. Just a little old and we can still get enemies lose six strength this turn. Exhaust, deal seven damage, apply. We'll get another sucker punch. All right, before we go on, we're gonna take a brief break, then we'll be right back. So just hang out and we'll continue fucking flying me and sucker punching bitches. You know why we're doing it? Cause they're fucking shoeless.
We return. All right. That was a little creepy that as soon as we return, that dude just... <laughs> oh. All right. Let's go heal here. Then we'll heal full HP. Let's go beat up this glowy Prisma boss. Spiritum. All right. Get poisoned. Get weakened. Get a flying knee. Just get everything. All right? We didn't do a lot of damage to him. <gasps> Infinite blades. Backflip. Or, well, now backflip. Ooh, I forgot his first attack is like his I'm going to just ruin you attack. Potion of Thorns. Catalyst. That's right. Now every time you hit me, oh, it's going to hurt. Watch this. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It hurt back now. Flying me. Sucker punch. Shiv. Defend. You're gonna hit me for zero and hit yourself for three. But you did burn me. Haha. -ha. Now all my shivs do more damage. Flying knee. Sucker punch. Shivs deal 10 damage now. Shiv. Strike. That's gonna hurt a little bit. And I had no healing there. All right. Flex potion. Shiv him. Slice him. Weaken him. Slice him more. Slice him even again. Then we defend. Alright, three turns before he starts throwing out big stuff. Uh, we have to discard a card. Let's get rid of this one. Shiv him. Sucker punch him. He's not going to hurt me. He is going to do a buffing thing, though. You know, I'm actually happy we got a lot of defense things there. And then we break his guard and apply two vulnerability to him. Yeah, go ahead, slice me up. You're gonna hurt yourself again. Look at that. Oh, you're done, buddy. Killed you with a shiv. We just fucking ninja start him over. When you play a card, gain one block. Gain two intangible at the end of your turn, lose one dexterity. Choose a card. Add three copies of that card to your hand. Exhaust. Wow. That could be really good paired with the infinite blade, but I feel like that combo would come up once never. So we're going to do this one. All right, relic choices. During boss and elite combats, gain an extra energy. At the end of your turn, you no longer discard your hand. Upon pickup, gain one potion, 50 gold, raise your max HP, gain a card, and upgrade a random card. But no longer discard. I could set up some good combos with that. That's what we're going to do. Oh, I've never seen that boss. 
fucking swirly, twirly sea of gumdrops or whatever the fuck it is. Let's go, like, here. Because we don't have enough money for the merchant. This is a pretty fixed path. What if we go one, two, three? Hey, we'll figure it out from there. Either way, it's fight, loot, treasure, or fight, loot, fight, or fight, loot, fight, or fight, fight, loot. So we'll go there like this. I picked the wrong one, guys. I was a dummy. I picked the wrong one. Immediately, I realized I picked the wrong one. Shiv. Flying knee. Backflip. Not even gonna be able to block all the damage. It's not easy, and it doesn't do a lot of damage. Shiv. Uh, sucker punch. Um, I'm gonna take a lot of damage here. Crippling cloud and catalyst. This is gonna hurt a lot. Accuracy. Shiv him. We'll play. Oh, wow. These do very little. Um, slice him one time. Neutralize. Shiv him. Sucker punch him. All right, this is going better now. This is getting much better. You can, I'm, I'm, I'm. He's got no teeth, so he's kind of just gumming us up. Killed him with the flying knee. Add four shivs to your hand, beautiful. Let's see, you duck into a small hut. Inside, you find what appears to be a forge. The smithing tools are covered with dust, yet a fire roars inside the furnace. You feel on edge. Ooh. When you lose, lose one HP whenever you play another card. Wow. Nope, we'll just upgrade a card in our deck. Start that with your hand. That's beautiful. Except, what is after image? Start that. That's what we're gonna create after image. So it becomes an eight. Oh, you little th a looter and a mugger. Are they really that different? I know they're gonna hurt. Haha, -ha, boom! Blow you up a little bit. You cannot have my gold, but you can apparently take my life. Have a little shiv. Have a defense. Have a defense. And you have a flying knee. Yeah, give me that shiv. Get shivved. God, you guys hurt, and I don't have anything to not have you hurt, really. Get 
get weaker. And then also get weaker. Yeah, discard that, I don't care. This guy is way less invincible, and I think it's because I don't have any good combos running from this guy. No, not that, the shiv. Uh, flying knee. And then... Slice him up. Get out of here and give me my money back, you bitch. You bitch. The start of your turn, apply two poison to all enemies. All right, let's see. If we go this way, we have to fight an elite. If we go this way, we can avoid an elite, and I'm gonna say with our less than half health, gah, I'll take an elite over these fucking shelled parasites, man. I hate them. Cannot stand the shelled parasites. Get rid of that. Give me that. You get hit with that. That's what I got. I'm still going to take five damage. Get hit with a little weak there. I have a defense. It's not wonderful, but it's better than nothing. All right, and he'll die from poison. So I won't actually take damage this turn. Get hit with that. Get hit with that. Get hit with that. Uh, let's throw that there. One, two, See, now you get to see the deadliness of those shivs. You just fucking... Sk -sk -sk -sk. Cost one each time you lose. Cost an additional energy each time you lose HP, but deals 12 damage. Oh. Now we're not going to take that one. I'd like to be optimistic enough, but I there's no way. Ooh, a Chosen and a Cultist. All right, little Chosen guy. Yeah, that hurt a little bit. I feel like, and I could be entirely wrong, I feel like I gotta get that Chosen out of here. He seems like he's gonna start doing crazy buffs and debuffs more than the regular old cultist is. Hex, whenever you play a non-attack card, shuffle one dazed into your... Great. He 
He looks like an anime character. Yes, he does. Yes, yes he does. Get poisoned, I guess. I don't know that we're gonna live past this fight, guys. We're not looking great, especially now with two vulnerability. Yeah, I don't- we- we didn't even get... I don't think we live past this alone, not even this fight, I don't know that we get past this. Like, we've got this guy taking 13 damage passively a turn, but... Okay, so he'll die from the poison alone. That's good. And we can't really afford to... Not- we can't afford to take any damage this fight. When we're down to 8 health. 27? Really, bud? It's alright, we can kill you, so that's good. But 27, huh? We'll take this one. Nope, can't go to that elite. We have to rest. At least we're now up to 38. Or 33, wow. Then this will bring us to 35 from the little blood vial. A little sneaky snack. It's a sneaky snack. A little, little uh, sneaky snack. Uh, Snacko. I think my dad's doing that too. You have to. It's required. Oh, I should have done that in a different order because I'm an idiot and we do dumb things here. I played like six shivs before playing the card that buffs all the shivs. Not very much, huh? Because everything costs random amounts now. I can gain some block. Some. Wow! Down to 13 again. Alright, that's fine. He's dead now. That's all I care about. Have some more poison. And get hit with a dagger. I don't even care. Blah! Smoke bomb! Escape from a non-boss combat. Receive no rewards. That could save our life, though. Gain 10 block, deal 10 damage. There you go, outmaneuver plus. 100%, that's what we take. 
Normal enemy combats are no longer encountered in question rooms. That could be really good. Ah, that's what we're taking. We got no money for anything else, but that's what we're taking. Give me a little treasure. A maw bank, whenever you climb a floor, gain 12 gold. No longer works when you spend any gold at shops. Oh, so as soon as you spend gold, you don't get... Oh, we have 13 health going into this fight. Alright. Start with that one. Give him that flying knee. Give him one crippling strike. What are you doing? Don't enfeeble my enfeeble my spores. My spores don't need to be enfeebled. Let's get rid of that one. Well, it's not a lot of block that those give. All right, we'll block a bit of it. We only took one. We can take one damage. Not really, but we will take one damage. Oh, I want to play this so bad, but I need these for all the block I can get. He's still going to do 21. That's the next debuff. That's 12 block. You know what? We need it. Yeah, you didn't get through me uh get through my armor that time. Perfect accuracy. Next turn, 3 extra energy. Hit you for 10. What else can we do? Can hit you for less. Get hit with a little poison. You're going to enfeeble me. Get hit with one of those, huh? Then what if you get hit with that? Then if we double that... Oh, cool. Then you just die next turn. Perfect. Let's do that. And let's do that. And let's do that. Look at this. Ready? Blah! Plant die from poison. Deal 7 damage. If the enemy has poison, deal 7 damage again. We need to heal. Now we're up to 39. Ooh, you discover a colorful shop with the banner Inspire. Uh, and walk in to see what's inside. No, no way. Nope, can't let you in. A man with ridiculous clothing appears at the entrance uh, to bar you. You will not do, no, no. What is this style? Disgusting. Are you bleeding? Gross business? You're a customer? Fine, whatever. He lets out an exaggerated sigh and points at a list of services. The services seem fine, but you would rather punch this smug man in his smug face. Punch. Wow, I can actually punch him. <laughs> One of the options is to punch him. I lose health for it, but I can punch him. Do it. All right, we punched him. My, f you punch uh him so hard your fist hurts. My face. Now I'll have to. He fainted. Who's gross? Who's bleeding now? Oh, look at his little face. Oh God, these two. I think this is it. This is our death. This is where we die. It's official. It's done. It's over. No one try anything else. We're dead. That's what you get, bitch. Oh, and he debuffed me to take less armor. Great. That's what I want. Look at this. About to whip me so hard.
Get poisoned. Get more poisoned. Meh. Have a dagger. Yeah, that poison hurts, huh? Get him out of here. He's gonna be gone. Perfect, that's what I want. Now get, I don't know, one of these out of here. He's still gonna hurt a whole lot, but he'll die. That's the only thing that super matters. Ow. Get sliced, get sliced, get sliced. He's still gonna hurt for a whole lot. Oh, I told you I don't think we make it out of this, guys. This still hasn't given us... It gave us one defense card. <laughs> Get rid of this. All right, we're... No, I think actually we die. And then boom, that's our life. Vanquished. Wow. We made it significantly not as far with this person. All right, let's try again. So we've already beaten it one time with this dude. We've beat it once as the Ironclad. And we beat it once as the Defect. The Defect. But we haven't beaten it with her, and we haven't beaten it with him. To beat it, by the way, I, I know I didn't explain this, but to beat it, you have to make it all the way through the dungeon three times. So these two, we've been able to get through. The Watcher's cool. Um, sure, we'll do another run with the Watcher. Uh, but so you have to get through the whole dungeon three times. So Act 1, Act 2, Act 3. It gets pretty difficult. Lose my starting relic, which gives me a miracle. But I get a random boss relic. Fuck it, let's go. What is our... No! I think I'm just gonna abandon this run. I hate this item. You no longer see enemies in tents. So I don't know how much to like buff myself or not. Like it's a it's a terrible item. I think I'm just gonna abandon it and start over. Devastation. We didn't unlock anything. Alright, let's try the Watcher again. Another try. Enemies in your next three combats have one HP or seven max HP. I think seven max HP is going to be better. Alright. Maybe what we need to do is we need to fight more things. Maybe that's what we should do, is we should fight... I don't ever fight elite things, because they hurt, but they give the best rewards. So we can heal up before we fight that elite thing, but then we can't heal for a long time. What do you guys think? Should we go a fight-heavy path, or should we go an upgrade-heavy path? Fighting yields extra cards, including boss cards, 
Upgrading makes the cards we already have better, but right now we just have your starting deck. Upgrade? So, but we're just upgrading our starting- we're basically upgrading punches. Like, we're going from punches to kicks rather than getting new cards, if you want to talk DC. Hmm. Alright, let's go the upgrade route. No, no, it's not up to me. I asked you guys. I wanted a per your opinion. You're the one that has to- I know I'm the one that has to play it, but I still wanted your opinion. Get that slime out of here. Get him dead instantly. Oh, I can't play that. If I ask your guys' up He licked me! That is inappropriate, sir. Get the fuck out of here. I will beat you with my little stick. Nope, I won't do that. Because that sounds like bad after you just licked me. Tantrum. Deal three damage three times. Enter Wrath. Shuffle this into your draw pile. Wreath of Flame. Your next attack deals five additional damage. Let's go Tantrum. Just because it's funny. Yeah, get quack quack whacked. Look at that. He's getting so beat up. Give me two whaps and you get whapped. Look at this. Just whapped him off right there. My angry eye whapped him down. Whenever you enter Wrath, draw set. Ooh. Oh, but that's only going to come in still. We're going to take Sands of Time. We got that last time and we really liked it. Before you lies an elaborate shrine to a forgotten spirit. Transform a card. Okay. Let's transform... One of our blocks into. I'm not gonna look. Oh, lesson learned. We'll take it. That's one of my favorite cards. All right, so now here's the question. If we're trying to do the upgrade path, this has one, two, three, three campfires there that we can hit. So that's gonna be our best path. And we're going to go here so we can get a new card in to upgrade. Oh, a little loust. Get him out of here. I don't even want to see that loust. Oh, you grew bigger. Good job. Duh. Tantrum. Smack, smack. Didn't even have to fully tantrum him. And exit your stance. Ooh. Gain four block. Add safety to your deck. We like safety. We're gonna go safety. Oh, it's the little goblins. Or gremlins. Sorry, they're not goblins. They're gremlins. We're not gonna... We're not gonna enter a Wrath this time. That feels like it'd be... ill-advised. Because best case scenario is we deal... 9 damage. And then we could tantrum someone to deal 3, 6, 9 more damage. No? 18 damage. So we could get one of them out of there. But we'd still end up taking a ton more damage from them. So we're gonna wait on that. We're still gonna get pretty hurt this this turn, though. Let 
Yeah, he's gonna deal nine. Whap. Four damage? Oh, it's because they weakened me. Because you little fat gremlin. That's only gonna block those two. I'm still gonna take 13 more. Jeez. I should probably just use my potion. Get that little gremlin out of here. I can't even use it. Dang it. I just stay in my hand, though. So at least there's that. Oh, look at the little eye blinking, because it's nice and calm. And now we enter Wrath. Get him out of here. Get the little fat gremlin out of here. He had to watch all his little friends die. Five damage to all enemies. Well, I wanted to upgrade here, but we really need to sleep to heal. Which is a bummer, but... We got other ones to go, so that's alright. Ew, little goobles! Holy cow, those goobles are attacking a lot. All right, so that's what, 15, 21? Well, let me get one of those goobles out of here. Boom, little acid slime, gone. Get him out. That's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Doesn't matter much to me. Sure, you can do that. Boom. Upgrade Vigilance. Five di Nope. Tantrum. Now we're in mad mode. And then we swoom through him. He's still alive. This one's gonna hurt. Slap. You know what? Overkill. Dealt him 37 extra damage. Whenever you scry, green, gain 3 block. Deal 4 damage when you scry. Return this. Gain 3 block if you're at halt. What does upgrading tantrum do? 4 times. Okay. 26 damage, which means when we upgrade it, it'll be even more. 7 block... 13. We're going to upgrade this one. The Sands of Time Plus. Oh, nice. Centennial Puzzle. When we first get hit, we get extra stuff. And then we'll upgrade Lesson Learned, because that'll help us upgrade other cards. We'll go here. Little Ooblet. Won't be able to block all of it. Could if I wanted to. No, I am blocking all of it. Perfect. I don't know what Divinity Stance does to know how to what if this is useful. Perfect. Now. Shroom. Slice through him. He's gonna debuff me. Keeps giving me those slimy slimes.
Yeah, now what you're gonna do? Gonna just get beat up. That's what's gonna happen to you. Gonna split into two smaller slimes? 2,000 cranberries? Jeez! Upgrade a card for me. Tantrum. Divinity. When entering this stance, gain three. Attacks deal triple damage. Exit at the end of your next turn. Ooh, okay. That's so that's what Divinity does. Seven damage if the last card gained that. At the end of each of your turns, add a smite to your hand. What does smite do? Retain deal 12. All right, I don't think we can take on the elite. We're going to go down the treasure path because I don't think we can take on the elite. How much money does 2,000 cranberries sell for? I am sure it is a stupid amount of money. Gain nine additional block. Okay. I'll let you know when this day is over. Fair. Alright, we're gonna take a little damage here. Eight damage, specifically. Get to draw some extra cards. Ooh, we'll just do this and upgrade a card. Now it's Tantrum Plus. And mantra, huh? Deal nine damage, gain block equal to unblock damage dealt. That could be really good. Tantrum we also know is really good. We're gonna take Wallop. Oh, little lousts. Do -do -do. This is just going to be a very big defense. That's what those are going to be. Doom. Now they're all going to do the same thing. But we can get one of them out of here. Do we play the miracle so we... No, we'll save that for next turn. We are going to take some damage, though. Smack. A little battle him. Smack. And here's seven damage. Dang. Okay. Eruption. Ten damage to all of them. Miracle. Hit him with the lesson learned. Upgrade a card. That's all we can do this time. Ew, you spit a little web on me. That's alright, both of you are dead this turn. Because I got two smites waiting for you. Smite you, and we'll smite you. Just lucky, retain, deal this. Yeah, flying sleeves. Fight or treasure? Oh, another thief. Twelve block where we enter calm. We smack him. Then we do that. 
That's all right. I will not give you my gold. You will take it, but I will not give it to you. can do that. Man, I wish that eruption had come at a different time. Or that lesson learned, my bad. If it had come one turn later, that would have been way better. <laughs> Fair. Deals nine, or I could deal twelve. So he's gonna armor up, and then he's gonna run, but I don't remember how much armor he gets. Oh, okay, it's not a lot. Wham! Trying to take my gold. Deal four damage whenever you change stances. Return this card. Interesting. Okay. For free, a free four damage? We do need to heal. Otherwise, I would have upgraded there. Now we go on to fight a Blobkiss. It's the slime boss. Not to be confused with the crime boss. He does have a dapper hat, and that's because he's the slime boss. He's gonna give me his goopy spray. He hit me with the goopy spray. I don't really have anything to to do, so we'll just wait. He's not gonna split, is he? Slime. <laughs> oh man, I can't even use eruption because it'll just—that's all my health. Increase my dex. That'll block some of it. Those unfortunately goes away. Still take 15, because the fucking slime crush. That's right, now we're mad. Wham, 52 damage. Eight damage. Twelve damage. Give me a smite. You're not sliming anyone after this, you slime boss. Look at this. I get rid of one of you in just one hit. Look at this. Wham. Gone. I get rid of the other one instantly, too. Look at this. Ready? Watch this. Oh, yeah. Boom. Then we just shoot. Gone. Slime boss. Dead. I put on my angry eyes. Oh, we're going to take another lesson learned. So we can just keep everything upgraded in our deck at all times. At the start of your turn, draw two additional cards. Start each combat confused. Oh, that could be so good or it could be so bad. You no longer gain gold. When you exit calm, gain an additional... Okay, yeah, we'll take the Lotus. Ooh, what is that boss? All 
All right. If we go here, that's a merchant. Upgrade path is going to be... This path? There's not really a good upgrade path. I think it's going to be this little side path over here. Hi there, Chosen. How are you? Gonna hit me a couple times, I see. Well, what if I just smack you around a bit? What do you gotta say about that? Why not? There's no reason to not use that. Pop. Yeah, didn't even matter. I would love to retain this lesson learned, but it's not a retain, unfortunately. Suffer? No, I don't think I will. Oh, you hexed me. Oh, get a daze. See, but now... I can do that. I gain energy back. Can hit you with one of these. And then I can lesson learn you. And upgrade my wallop! Duplication potion. Apply mark. What is mark? Apply 11 mark. All enemies lose HP equal to their mark? I think we're going to take Bowling Bash, though. Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> uh, remove a card from our deck. Let's get rid of one of our basic-ass cards. Like, let's get rid of one of our basic strikes. Oh. I need to fix my posture. It's terrible. Alright, that'll give me 24 if I do these two in succession, so... No, it'll give me 19, because it's unblocked. Should have done it the other way around, you dummy! <sighs> Alright. 8 damage twice. That only deals 20. So it's not enough. I can hit him once with this. And then throw this up. Which will also take me out. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Starting to get better at this the stanch switching now. Yep, that goes away. We're keeping this one, though. If we can enter Rage... Perfect, we can exactly enter Rage. Twenty. It's still not enough. Man, I... <clears throat> Alright, we're just gonna kill him. I wanted to keep it so we could upgrade another card. 10 blocks, shuffle an insight, and draw. Put a miracle plus into your hand at the start of your next X turns. Exhaust. What is X equal? Oh, X is how much I can... Okay. So if I discard... 
Ooh, that's interesting. I could take one turn to really set, like, if I have five cards, discard them, and at the start of the next five turns, I get two extra energy. All right. We're gonna wanna... Go ahead, get him fully out of the fight. It's not going to block everything, but that's okay. 160k? Jeez. Gonna take a little damage here, but this will help set me up for the next two turns. So. We can enter Calm, immediately leave it. Now we hit him with one of those, wallop him. Look at all this block we have! 55 block. It doesn't carry over, which is unfortunate, but man! Ooh, I could hit him with the tantrum and then finish him with the lesson learned. Boom. Upgrade a card. Deal five consecrates. Wonderful. Deal 16 damage and apply a week. That's all. I, it's the free cards. I can't say no to the absolutely free cards. Oh, these two. Nineteen. All right. Not going to take damage from this first round. Well, I can't defend anyway, so I might as well just set myself up. I literally have no defenses here, so this is just a full setup round. That's unfortunate. Jeez, that hurt a lot. But I can play a whole heck of a lot of things. So, we do that, so we can use this, right? And then, we do that. That gives us that back. Now we can do that. <clears throat> now we hit him with that. Hit him with one of those. Hit him with one of these. He's not going to hit me back, so we retain these. Shield yourself, sure. I mean, now we can just play every card we want to play, like... We have eight energy. 
Here's 52 damage right there. There's another 24. I mean, for the heck of it, just smack him up with the, the, the tantrum. Go here. Then we heal up. 61 out of 79. That's not bad. All right. So, do we want question, 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 chest, or, oh, we have to. Question, question, chest is the only thing we can do. Oh, it's a little shoppy boy. Whenever you play a power card, heal two, okay. For each curse in your deck, gain one strength, meh. Start each combat with one artifact. That could be good. Start each one with one artifact is real good. And then we can also start removing, it's what, 75 to remove a card from your deck? Let me just make sure. Card service increases for by 25 for the next, oof. We'll just wait. Because we've got another... Well, no, we don't have another vendor anytime soon on this path. We don't have another vendor at all on this path. Alright, is there anything else here we want? The end of your turn, shuffle an insight. That could be good. We'll take that. Shuffle an insight. Let's get rid of just one of these basic ass cards. And we'll also take that one. Ooh, little thing. You discover a colorful shot. Oh, it's this dude again. I'm not punching you again. I'll just lose 40 gold so I can upgrade a card. X plus one turns in eight. That's really good. Does it make this an eight? Uh, it just makes it cheaper. Okay. That's gonna, yeah, just deal more damage. Hmm. An innate smite is pretty good, but this is just one, and I... Yeah, we're gonna upgrade that one. Then we'll go to the little treasure here. A bag of preparation at the start of each combat. Draw two additional cards. Wonderful. Oh, and then three cultists. Perfect. And you know what? We'll just prepare ourselves. That's what we'll do. Astra's mad because I'm washing the sheets, so he has to lay on his bed. <laughs> Aw, poor Astro. Why would you do that to him? That's not fair. That's not very nice to Astro. That's not nice of you at all. Uh, and then we will... I mean, that should block. That's gonna... That's going to block all of that. Um... No point in playing any of those. Yeah. Now, they are just going to get stronger as time goes on. 
but so am I. We could be deadly here. We're gonna do it. This will probably be dumb. But we're gonna do it. We angry now. But then we give ourselves more energy. Sit here and we go... Whap, whap! Uh... Hit him for another one. We do that. Oh, we weren't even dumb. Look at that. Worked out perfect. Fasting. Gain three strength, three dexterity, and gain one less at the start. Ooh. Uh, whenever you gain block, apply two weak. Miracle. Miracle. We're going to go this way so we get two more campfires. Hopefully we get an upgrade in there. It's sneaky snake. I can't not say it. I have to sneak a snake. Next four turns, we'll get that. It was worth it. He's setting up. I'm setting up. Oh, and I avoided the debuff. <gasps> I didn't even think about how good that's about to get. I can't block any of this damage, so that's unfortunate. I'm just going to take 15 damage here. This is a power. That's divinity now. Doesn't matter. Just going to take 15 damage. That's a bummer. Jeez, that's a lot of cards we got. All right. Whenever we enter Wrath, we do the, the thing. Let's... Enter Wrath. Plus, let's do this. Plus, let's do this. Plus, let's... Do this. And this. And then we'll... Hit him with one of these. And then we'll hit him with that. Oh, I can't use this. And we'll wallop him. And we'll gain another turn on that one. And the next turn he'll just die. Why not? Because what if we draw a lesson learned, right? See, look, we did draw a lesson learned. Still not enough. So, we'll do it again. Oh, look at this. Perfect. And now we can lesson learn him to upgrade a card. Crushing joint, fasting, inner peace. If you're in calm, draw three cards. Otherwise, enter calm. Deal damage, if the last thing was a skill, eh. <sighs> maybe crushing joints could be good. We'll take crushing joints. Like, maybe that's the thing that I've been missing this whole time. 69. No enemies can hit me, guys. I'm at 69. These guys, huh? That should almost block all of that, so we'll do this, and then we'll do that. Now you're going to take me to 68, aren't you? Yep, you're going to take me to 68. 68 is nothing. You get nothing! You lose! Good day, sir!
get lots of extra stuff, but that's not going to really... It's not going to do much for us here. Oh, we're taking the damage regardless, so... Explosive Potion. Miracle. Six. No, won't be enough. So we'll do that. Ow. That's also not nice. Hmm. Hmm. Throw that across them. Oh, they're both buffing this turn. That's good, actually. Means we can kind of take some time to do the things we never had. No, I'm just kidding. All right, we do that. And then... Only adds one vulnerable, though. There's no reason not to. Save the miracle, save the smite. Move on with our lives. Shielding and healing. Oh, they're gonna shield and heal again, huh? Is that what we're doing? Hi, Plaz. We're in the middle of people shielding and healing themselves, and it's very annoying. Forty, fifty-three. It's not enough, but we can kill this guy. Boybot. I don't know who Boybot is, but sure. They probably have played this game. People play this game. That makes sense. That other people have played it. That's okay. Heal yourself for a little bit. You're about to get smote. I don't follow too many lads. See, look at this. Smote right there. Swift potion. And we'll add a... Draw cards until your hand is full. Exhaust. People play games. Exactly. You see... I appreciate that you appreciate that I know what's going on in the world. Oh, this could go real bad real fast. But I think we're going to do it because I want things... I like when things go real bad real fast. 20 damage for each enemy in the combat, meaning I could just take out any one of these guys. Let's get this guy just fucking out of there. Uh, and then we can also... 18 damage? No. A little bit more. It's not gonna kill him, but it'll do a good chunk of it. Then they're gonna buff themselves. That's fine. We know how their turn goes. They're gonna try and hit me for a lot, but they're not gonna. Because he's gonna die there. He's just going to get walloped. Uh, and then... We'll do that. Wham! That's right. Your little... Little bird brain just couldn't understand what's about to happen, but I'm about to learn you a lesson. And upgrade a card. Ooh, a block potion. We'll get rid of that. Take the block potion. Uh, Deus Ex Machina always seems like fun. But we got plenty of miracles. Let's take a, a Consecrate. Go here. Rest up nice and good. Full health for our second boss. We're doing really good this run, actually. 
Oh, he's going in for the hard hits. That's where he's starting, is those hard hits. Can we be smart about this? Because I think we can. Upgrade is good, you're right. I think we're going to be able to be smart about this. We'll do that. We'll do this. We'll do this. We'll block his entire first attack. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason to not hit him with that. Have you played Battleborn? Yes? I can't say that I remember it if I'm being honest with you. But I feel like I've played it. Wow, game, you really don't want to help me out here. You gave me no defense for this first real big attack, huh? And still no defense for this first nice old real big attack. Cool game. I appreciate that. Well, we're just buffing ourselves. This game reminds me of that. Does it? Just shows the Steam game. Battleborn, I thought, was the not Overwatch Overwatch game. Okay. Got a lot of stuff going on here. 12 block and intercom. We'll do that to gain an insight. Do this for extra mana. Do this to get two more cards. Hit you for a little bit there. Do this for two more cards. Why not hit you for free? Once again, why not hit you for free? And then the other stuff's just gonna go away, so... Man, you're applying a lot of debuffs and I really don't appreciate it. Battle him so we start getting smites. That's so we can draw two new cards. We're already in... That state. Where is all of our things that let us go into the stronger state? Huh? I guess I'll hit you for five. Don't want to use Sands of Time yet, or Flying Sleeve, or this, because that exhausts it. I mean, we'll deal 12 damage because it'll go away otherwise. You call that a weapon! I don't appreciate all the debuffs you're putting on me there, buddy. Where are all the things that make me stronger, huh? Huh, game? Where are any of those? And at this point, where's any defenses? You're giving me things that aren't helpful. Like, at all helpful. There's no point in using that. He's gonna hit me for half my life here. Okay, Frail wears off. That's nice. Here we go. Time to start being dumb. Enter Wrath. Drink. Gain a ton of block. Gain a lot of energy. Smite. Smite. Sands of Time. Flying Sleeves. Flying Sleeves. Two more cards. Tantrum. Some defense. That's actually probably good. It's only going to be 15, but whatever. That's what we got. He's still going to hit us for a good amount, but we took out a hundred of his health. So I'll take it. Here's more just 
lay into him because he's not hitting us back. He's buffing himself. Alright, Insight goes in there. We've got these. He's gonna buff. Buff a lot. I literally either have to... Holy cow! I have to kill him this turn? Or... I have to get a ton of blocks. Of which it looks like I'm getting neither. The only positive side of this is I have all the energy I could want. Oh, fucking right! I didn't think that was gonna work! <laughs> Easy! Yay, he was only going to do like 120 damage if we, sur if we didn't kill him there. Alright, let's take the... I don't know, Judgment's pretty good. Just 30 or less health, they're dead. Let's take that one. Alright, what do we have here? You can no longer... Nah. Upon pickup, you gain a curse and three relics. Start of your turn. You gain an extra enemy, but all enemies start with one strength. Oh, King, you reminded me. We gotta do the giveaway. We'll do... We'll... we'll do the giveaway now. Last chance for anyone who wants, if you want to be a part of the giveaway, uh, type the word deck uh, into, into chat there. You completely just reminded me there, King. For some reason, well, the giveaway reset. Unfortunately, but I think only two people had entered it. So, oh, we do a giveaway every Friday there, Plaz. Uh, but it reset. Not, and it's not, the word's not dick, it's deck. But the only two people that were in it were Celebrion and uh, King Smiley. They were the only two people eligible because they were the only ones that entered. Um, I'm just going to roll a random number generator then since Nightbot decided to... Reset that, which is dumb. Let's see. All right. Rolling. All right. There's no message because it's a, it's a thing, but... I think you should put these things at the start of your title instead of the end. Fair. Fair. But... Either way... King Smiley, you're the winner. Is that a weird transition? Shouldn't be. Oh, well. You won, so I'll message you at the end of this, King, for your... Your, uh... Your thingamabob. Mmm. That's a... You know, Plaz, that's an excellent point. That is probably what I will do... From here on out. Since Twitch doesn't display the whole title. Really? I didn't know Twitch doesn't display the whole title? I just need shorter titles, I think, then. But either way, you are definitely right that I should put it in the front. Eyebrow cam is all you need. So you don't want a, a game there, King? Also, we're going to curse ourselves. Curse of the Bell. Unplayable. Cannot be removed from your deck. But we get the boot... Whenever you would deal 4 damage uh, or less of unblocked, increase it to 5. Every time you play 3 skill cards, you deal 5 damage. And whenever you play 3 or less cards during a turn, you draw 3 cards next turn. Of course you want it. Alright then, well I wanted to make sure. Alright guys. If we can make it through this run, this little bit here, we will... Beat it with the Watcher, which is all I want in life, is to beat it with the Watcher. That's not all I want in life. I want a lot of things in life, but it's what I want right now. So let's see what our... 
I don't know if less combat's gonna be a good choice or a bad choice. One, two, three, four, five, fire, store, chest, store, fight, fire, that leads to that. Oh, there's not a lot of campfire, so I think we're gonna do... But taking all these mysteries could be getting into... Like, they can be elite fights. Do we take the mysteries where it could be no fight, but could be potentially be elites? Or do we take the regular path where we know it's not elites, but it's still a guaranteed fight? What do you guys think? Guaranteed fight, potentially no fight or elite. I'm stressing here. I just want to make it to the end. Because it's one of those two. I think I'm going to lean towards the evil I know. Don't stress. Thanks, Plaza. <laughs> oh, these goopy darkling dudes. Easy. Of course. How could I forget? It's super easy. Alright, so that'll block most of that. There we go. That should just block all the damage, as well as I got to swipe them a little bit. He's gonna shield himself. Curse the bell, that's fine. I don't really care about you. Hit all of you for five. Hit all of you for five. Oh, I can't def I have no defense this turn, huh? That's unfortunate that I didn't get a single defense card. Get to draw three extra cards. This is gonna hurt a lot. Alright. Can deal 30 damage to one of them. <laughs> I made the bowling sound! I didn't even notice that. Hit him with that. Go in for the lesson... Oh, it's only 10 damage now. I need the defense. I shouldn't have used the defense. I should have used the wallop. That was a dumb move. It was a dumb move there, Slate. Making dumb moves, boyo. I'm still gonna take 16 damage. And it doesn't matter if I kill these two, they'll come back alive because of him. You get kids off the bus. Don't get back before the end. I'll see you later. See you, master. Or not, match. <laughs> I was reading because you said later. See you, Plaz. <laughs> oh, that's funny. What do, what would your what would the lurk command do there? Like what's the idea of the lurk command? I don't understand why I would have a lurk command. What's its purpose? Well, I did not think we were going to survive this fight. I think he's gone. I think he is gone too. But I still want to know what the purpose of a lurk command is.
As you slowly make your way up the twisting paths, you constantly find yourself losing your way along the walls and ground seemingly inexplicable shafts before your eyes. The consp constant whispering voices in the back of your head aren't helping things either. Passing by a structure you are uh, certain you've previously seen, you start to question the time you're going insane or impossible geography of this place is starting to get to you. You need to change something and soon. That's what these voices say, anyways. Lose four max HP? Ugh. Oh. Reduce the cost of a random card in your hand to zero. I mean, madness is pretty good. Become unplayable and innate. So it just takes up one of your first things. We'll take that. We'll heal, and it just takes up one slot in our first hand. That's fine. Navigating through the beyond, you discover a glowing tesseract spinning and shifting gently in the air. You touch it. A sharp pain flows through you, followed by vivid flashes of a distant memory. Whose memories are these? We just healed. We're just going to pick one. We're not going to get greedy. Shuffle your discard pile. At the start of your turn, add a random colorless card to your hand. Whenever you apply a debuff, they take five and or five damage. But we don't apply a lot of debuffs, so we're gonna take that. Fear. A demonic creature towers above you, wings spread wide as it howls with laughter, dead bodies of a tribe surrounding you, while the village is engulfed in a terrible dark flame. The demon calls out, taunting you, You really are the strongest now. <laughs> the laughter echoes forever. Sorry if that got a little loud there. I just, you know, I had to really embellish that. Thirty or less HP, they just die. What is this? Perfect. Dead. <laughs> just wow, dead. Put an insight in there, and we end our turn. They're gonna put some debuffs on me. We'll block one of them. No, we won't. Uh, I mean, deal him 20 damage. That way, whenever we leave it, we'll have a little bonus there. Those are all going to go away. We'll take another debuff. That's fine. Are you guys not going to, like, try and hit me? You're just going to keep debuffing me? I feel weird about this. I think you should probably try and hit me. I mean, I'm happy you're not. It's just a little odd. You just keep debuffing me. Okay, we're gonna get... We're gonna get mad now. We're gonna do... Mad things. That was a very odd combat. Deal 10 damage with lag. Apply 2 weak. Bowling... Mostly because I like hearing the sound of the bowling balls. Oh, these stupid light. There's a, a D20 back there. Someone rolled a nat 1. That is the look of a nat 1. What is this? At the end of your turn, shuffle an insight. Everyone gets hit with that, we'll do that, and then we'll do this. Defend yourself. Defend yourself. And then, yeah, hit me for nine. 
That's a, he's, he's a lot of damage. All right, that costs nothing. Five damage to all of them. Block. Block. <sighs> I want to use Judgment, but I can't hit either of them with it. Hit them down with that. Regain two of those. Gain extra amounts of that. We'll block some of this damage, but not all of it. And he comes back alive next turn. Alright. Can we... Hit him with one of those. What is this? They receive 50% more. Hit him with one of those. Grow up with one of those. I, I can't use Sands of Time because I need to make sure I block. Hit him with that. That's it. That should, well, no reason to not do that. Ooh, sli slice them both. He's going to come back at 50% health. Because their little stupid life link that they've got going on. Oh, how much damage can we deal here? We can deal a lot of damage. So I think we're gonna... Hit him with that. Hit him with that. Him with that. Him with that. They're all gone. That extra damage, though. Another sense of time, though. We're gonna go past that boss fight. <laughs> oh, these little guys. Ooh, if we're gonna do damage, now's the time, huh? Hit you with that. Ooh, hold on, that's... We can get this guy just out of the fight, but we'll take 18 damage from him. We just gotta get him out. Then we do this. And this will provide... Unless we can 16, that won't get him out. The thorns is going to be annoying, but it is what it is. We just got to make sure we hit him with one big hit. Eight damage. And then we... Hit him for 26. Upgrade a card. And we want to hit him for just one big hit. We can't hit him multiple times. Because he's going to deal five damage back to us every single time. He's going to buff that again, so now it goes up to ten. Oh, seven. Okay, seven's not bad. Plus, now we've got 14 block. And we can also just kill him. Pressure point, apply mark. Enemy, All enemies lose HP equal to their mark. Brilliance, deal 12 damage. Deals additional damage equal to the mantra gained this... Con okay, well, we don't have a lot of that, so we'll take that, I guess. Go here. Heal. 46 of 79. Go to the shop. We've got 300. Start each elite fight with two strength. Raises max HP. 
pawn pickup upgrade. We'll take that one. Um, I mean, we can also just take this one. Upgrades all of your cards for the rest of combat, but then exhaust. That's pretty good. We'll take it. He's got nothing to heal us, just things to increase our health. Potions always appear in combat rewards. Go to a shop. Ooh, we could get another fire, but then we have to fight an elite, or we just go... That's a... da toughie. I don't think you have anything for us. We scry, shuffle, three attacks, gain one strength. Start, you gain one vulnerability, that's nice. Nothing for us here, we just continue on. Mystery, fight, fight, mystery, or fight, 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 mystery. I'm gonna take the two mysteries. A gremlin is madly shuffling a pile. The monster seems to be a harmless one. You approach him out of curiosity. Twelve cards. Match them uh, to keep them. Five tries. No do-overs. Are you ready? Let's start. Oh. Interruption. And a lesson learned. So not correct. Wheel kick. Blind. Not correct. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Uh, that's easy, they're all orange obelisks. A blind... and a blind? Yeah. Oh, we haven't seen this, so maybe... nope. Alright, two wheel click kicks were up there. Did you complete the gremlin? You complete the gremlin's game and looked up. He disappeared. Alright. He's gonna deal 14 damage. Do we want insight? Probably. Well, this is not actually going to help very much. Slice through them there. Wallop him so I at least gain 11 block. From a non-boss combat. Alright. And then we'll... There's no reason to not use that, I guess, to gain a buff. That goes into our deck. He's gonna buff and shield. He's gonna hit. He's gonna buff and shield. Random colorless card to your hand. Holy cow, they're all gonna hit for so much. And we have one thing that's going to give us block. And we're not going to kill any of them. I hate to use this now, but we're escaping. Because that's the only way we survive with enough health. But now we can continue on our path. That's probably not the best thing we could have done. But it's what we did. Upgrade all cards. Gain two energy. No reason not to play Rush Down. Can hit him for a good portion here. Because we don't want him to explode. And we can just outright kill one of these people. But we'll take damage from it. Because that should be, well, no, 40 damage is how much we'll, then we'll get rid of him. We're still going to take a lot of damage, though.
Bowling. We'll get rid of him. Hold on. Seven block and add a safety. Now we can afford to do that because we blocked it. Judgment is 40 or less. Damn, so we can't get rid of him. And I doubt this ups judgment because that's a skill, not a damage thing. We can just get rid of him. I want to use that, but we're going to take six damage back. I think we kind of have to. And he's going to buff the thorns, and he's going to buff the thorns. All right. All right, all right, all right. Twenty-six damage, that gets rid of him. And then we can... Safety to block all of that damage. Anything that can give us... All right, there's some armor. We're gonna take one damage, but hitting him for 26 is pretty good. And we'll hit him for another of that. Six damage twice, that's not going to be worth it. Six damage twice is not going to be worth it. Apply 11 mark. Oh, wow, that was fast. Five damage to all. Please don't be an elite, please don't be an elite, please. Is this an elite fight? It looks like this is an elite fight. And that's going to be not fun for anyone. I was lucky that the two cards we drew were both zero-cost cards. It'll be fun for the elite. Yeah, so we can tickle my fucking watcher butthole with his tentacle. Let me tell him- let me tell you this. This is no consenticles right here. Haha. -ha. You think Judgment's gonna help? Does he have less than that? <laughs> oh my god. We don't have enough block to, to do this. This is the end. Literally, we have no block here and nothing that lets us draw cards. This is where... One room from the final boss is where we fucking die. What does this do? Gain energy. Yeah, one room from the final boss is where we die. Great. The lowest I can get him is not even that low. Judgment. He's been judged. All right. Well, time to die. Swap. We're still here. You came just in time to watch us die there, Plaz. One room from the end, we died. We get to unlock a new card. Enter Divinity. Die next turn. Enter Divinity. 
die next turn. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna take that one. We're gonna oh, all of these show up now. All right, Plaz. So I'm about to go, but before I go, I have to know what does a lurk command do? Filed for Chapter Eleven bankruptcy. Wow. NRA over there, huh? So I'm getting ready to head out, but what what would a lurk command do there, Plaz? Lurk just does something like blank user into the bushes. Ah, okay. Sure, just a fun little text command. Gotcha. That makes sense. Let's, uh, let's go raid Rizashi. Everyone, we're ha we were happy to have you. Uh, lurk commands are useful. Oh, uh, figure one out then. But we were happy to have you. We're going to go lurk Rizashi. She's playing Fable. Wonderful game. Um, happy weekend, everyone. We were happy to have you. King, I'll make sure to give you your code for the giveaway. Plaz, thanks for the advice. I will actually start putting the giveaway at the front, and then I will also... I'll figure out something for alert command. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I appreciate it. If you're new here, make sure to uh, come by again. If you're not new here, thanks for coming by. Have a good weekend. Love you all.